morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting ready, or we are basically ready to get out of Winnipeg. Yeah, we just left the Flying J, and now it's time to get back at it again. Yeah. Four kilometers. Turn left on Bridge Road, Highway 334. I don't know what it is with my GPS, but uh, it just does not like the location that I am supposed to go to deliver my load to. Yeah, it's just not wanting to route me there, no matter how try hard I try. It just, it finds the address and everything, but it just, every time I click to navigate, it just, it right away says, you have arrived at your destination. I'm like, what the heck, you know? I'm still a day and a half away from my destination. <laughs> but anyways, whatever. I kind of know where it is. I looked it up on Google. Yeah. And it's definitely in Alberta, so uh, <laughs> I don't know why it says arrived at destination. No matter where I tried it, even when I was in Ontario, I tried it already and it wouldn't do it. So I don't know what the problem seems to be, but speed warning. Whatever, we're going to go and uh, get us a big day in today. That's the plan anyways. Looks like it started drizzling here a little bit. But it doesn't look like it's going to be raining too much. Because when you look uh, further west down there, it looks pretty bright. So when I looked at the radar there a little bit too, it doesn't look like a big system either. So looks like just a... Uh, regular system just a little bit of a rain shower and that's it but man did we ever have a good time there last night me and the family there you know that was a very nice family time there last night she came and picked me up and then we went to the kegs there like you guys saw and had us a very fine dinner oh she loved it morning yeah, she definitely loved it, that's for sure, and I did too. I guarantee you, I had me a good time. Yep, it's definitely worth being married to her and having the kids with her. She's a very good woman, that's for sure. So, let's go ahead and see if this chicken house is going to be open up here. I kind of doubt it because it's long weekend and it's Sunday morning. But then again, what do I know? But now my GPS is turn left over here and then my destination. Take 400 meters. <laughs> turn left on Bridge Road. Highway 334. Like, okay. Turn left in 1.1 kilometers. Alright, looks like this light is going to change on me here, so... Oh well, we're supposed to be kind of in the left lane anyways, just in case that uh, chicken house is open, right? But yeah, I can kind of see the light over there already. It doesn't look like they're open, so that's fine with me. We ain't going to complain about that, are we? No way. No, not at all. But anyways, we'll get on down the road and uh, we will try and show you what we can today. I appreciate you guys tuning in. We are now in Russell, Manitoba. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this beautiful field up here to the uh, to the left here. I like that one. It's like a nice, you know, yellow field like that. That means the crop is doing real well. I don't know exactly what they use that particular stuff for, but uh, that's not up to me, I guess, anyways. But, hey. Uh, Looks gorgeous though. Nice, beautiful yellow field like that. Well, we're actually kind of like a little bit past Russell, but it's still, I guess, on the edge of Russell here. Yeah, we got a big valley coming up over here. So I figured, you know what? Let's show you guys a little bit of uh, this big valley up here. We are only about eight kilometers away from hitting the Saskatchewan border. Then we'll be in Saskatchewan. <laughs> yeah, I always make fun of that, but 
Yeah, we're just cruising right along here today. We've been uh, going pretty steadily. Been driving for about four and a half hours already. So yeah, just having a fantastic day. It's been uh, kind of raining on and off over here all morning long so far, but yeah, that's all right. At least it's not windy. We're doing fantastic on fuel mileage right now. Like this uh, whole trip is going to be probably pretty good on fuel mileage because uh, got a very light load, right? So we don't really uh, have to worry about climbing these hills or whatever. Generally, I don't even need to shift gears. Generally, I can just go right up on over, you know? But that's fantastic for me, right? That's, the, what, that's exactly what we want, right? get good fuel mileage be a little bit more money in my pocket hopefully get good miles that's what it's all about right at least I think so yeah my goal for today is probably make it up to uh, Lloyd Minister Alberta yeah so we got our work cut out for us today but yeah, that's basically just into Alberta. But looks like there's a bit of a dark cloud hanging around us there to the left. So hopefully we don't all of a sudden get us a storm come through here. But I don't think so. But then again, you never know, right? You never do. Yeah, we'll continue on cruising along here. And make the best of today what we can do right i am coming into saskatoon to scratch me one <laughs> yeah definitely we've been driving for another couple of hours we haven't really stopped since we stopped up there in uh, langeburg saskatchewan which is just past the border into saskatchewan so uh yeah i don't think i filmed anything from up there but I did make me a pit stop over there and made me a couple of two sandwiches up there. And I eat a lot more out of the truck now than I did uh, before because uh, we do have a big bill to pay, repair bill. And so I kind of need to eat a little bit more out of the truck, you know. Yeah, so I can't really afford to... Uh, eat out too much I mean that's gonna be hard to pay that bill off that's just a fact but yeah, it's a beautiful day out here today so we're just cruising right along today got a big camper up ahead of me here he's uh, even got a big trailer behind him too it looks like he might be got uh, might be having some four wheelers or something like that uh, in this little box there but I think we're gonna go around them we're going fairly slower than what the speed limit is so yeah look at that he's got a fairly big trailer behind him eh? that's a nice big camper bet you that's a, gonna run him about a quarter of a million dollars probably for that camper or RV or whatever you want to call it but yeah, gorgeous day out here, that's for sure. And we will be making a pit stop up here. I'll probably go to the Flying J up here. Yep. But anyways, we'll uh, make our way towards the Flying J and take care of some business and then we'll continue on with our journey. It's about eight minutes after four right now, so. But yeah. Still, uh, quite a bit of time left in the day to do some driving and the reason I'm saying that is because uh, it's actually an hour behind our time right so it's only 3 uh, 308 over here so we can still drive another couple hours yes indeed we can here we are in North Battlefort ladies and gentlemen yeah we're 
we're gonna go down here downhill into a valley you got us a little bit of a river down there yeah you might be able to see some water already but I know the GoPro has got a fairly long uh, wide angle of lens so it's not capable of picking up something that's really far away but we will be going over that uh, in a few minutes here yeah still a beautiful day out here I was looking at the weather radar there when I was stopped there in uh, Saskatoon and it looks like they were uh, calling for some thunderstorm swatches out here so yeah I mean that probably gonna happen tonight but as of right now we're not getting any of that I mean, yeah there is some clouds starting to roll in but I haven't seen any uh, real bad clouds yet so but yeah here we are I'm gonna be uh, crossing this river here very soon all right four-wheeler behind me there gave me the signal that he wanted to move into the left lane so yeah I was able to get in here but here's the uh, river North Battle Ford Bridge yeah doesn't look like a deep river up here you can see some sand over there in the river so doesn't look like a big uh, big river either you know it's, uh, it's fairly wide but doesn't look like it's gonna be anything major but it is a little bit of a valley down here and figure it out be a little interesting to show you guys so yeah we only got 395 kilometers to go up to our delivery place so uh, I could technically stop right now and call it a day and continue on my journey tomorrow but yeah I figured you know what I'm gonna try my real best to uh, get as many miles in today as I possibly can so that way uh, speed warning that way I have less miles to drive tomorrow and uh, that would also get me a little bit closer towards uh, my second delivery tomorrow if I uh, if I could uh, make as many miles in today as possible you know that would put me a lot closer towards my uh, my next delivery yes indeed it would be but we will make the best of it when we can right that's our goal anyways so I really hope that we can actually go to British Columbia that'll be some very nice sceneries for you guys yeah I like to uh, really show you guys some nice sceneries that's uh, that's something I'm really into you know I really love seeing beautiful sceneries and I love sharing them with you guys kind of pissed me off the other trip when <laughs> I wasn't able to go to British Columbia wasn't able to show you guys some really nice sceneries and stuff like that but yeah well maybe uh, maybe this trip we got lucky right it does appear up there on the horizon that it might be raining here pretty soon yes indeed I just really hope that we ain't gonna get no storm or tornadoes or something like that you know that's what I'm just hoping for but oh well we'll have to try and go through it we should be getting rain here pretty soon I think that looks like that is coming up pretty fast at least in my eyes it is yeah well at least we'll get a clean windshield or something like that but uh, other than that <laughs> yeah I just hope there ain't gonna be too much wind in that I don't mind the rain but I can't stand any wind right now because I'm a very light load on my trailer so I'm only about 6,000 pounds in the box a little over maybe but yeah so uh, I can't afford to have any wind today that's for sure on tomorrow and the day after probably but yeah 
Let's see what we're gonna get here in a few minutes. Well, we will continue on cruising along here. It's already seven o'clock, uh, well, 7 p.m. in the afternoon right now. So that's what I was telling you guys earlier. It'd probably be getting towards the evening where we would start getting some real heavy duty rain or thunderstorms or whatever, right? And here we go. Looks like we will be hitting that any minute. It looks pretty dark, that's for sure. Wow, yeah, that looks, <laughs> looks a little scary, but we'll see what happens. You can only hope for the best, right? That's right. But if it starts getting windy, we will probably park her somewhere, but I added up my hours and I can technically go till 9.30 this afternoon or this evening, I guess. That would be my 13th hour, but uh, yeah, that means I could drive another two and a half hours, actually. That would put me just shy of Edmonton, basically. But we'll see what happens. Looks like somebody pulled over over here already. Looks like a couple of bikers or something. Oh, looks like a what is that a three-wheeler <laughs> three-wheeler with a trailer behind them it looks like they uh, pulled over and put some uh, rain suits on it but yeah look at these dark clouds eh wow there comes the wind ladies and gentlemen I can already hear it I don't know if you guys can hear it but it is already starting to pick up with the wind that is a nasty system it looks like yeah, I'm gonna take my glasses off. It's starting to get real dark. I was seeing some lightning up there already. Oh my, here we go. You hear that? You see my truck just starting to go this way now? My goodness, let's hope we can stay safe up here. Holy smokes. Let's hope for the best, guys. Well, here we go, guys. We have gotten rain now, and uh, as you see these two coasts, we will be going into Alberta. Yeah! The wind seemed to have Crossing slowed border. down Entering a little Alberta. bit. Changing time zone. Yeah, I know. The wind has definitely slowed down a little bit, so we're not really getting the heavy winds anymore, so. But we are still getting some lightning and thundering and stuff like that, but we are just gonna cruise right on through here and because usually the system moves east, so if I continue going west, you know, I could potentially run out of the system pretty quick, you know. That's the goal anyways. But yeah, we've been using our wipers here for the last few minutes, so yeah. Now we can officially say we are in Alberta. Yes, indeed we are. And I turn on the lights in there so you can possibly see me a little bit better. Hopefully, anyways. This cooled down pretty good and gotten dark pretty good. I'm down to 13 degrees and before I was like 25. So yeah, it cooled her down pretty good. So there was some lightning right there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that Canadian flag up there from the Husky truck stop up there on the left-hand side, but he's waving pretty good. That's for sure. Now, you generally don't see that Husky flag waving too much because that's a big flag. It takes a lot of wind in order to move that flag, that's for sure. But yeah, this is the Husky truck stop up here on the left, so seems like this truck is moving extremely slow, so I think what we're going to try and do is go around them. I don't know why they're going so super slow, but uh, they got three trailers behind them. Maybe that's why. Then again, you never know. Maybe it takes a little bit to get up to speed when they leave this traffic light, you know. But yeah, figured I'd show you guys a little bit of Lloyd Minister. 
in we do see some lightning every once in a while so maybe you'll see that anyways we'll keep you guys up to date and post it and see what uh, what will happen right alrighty guys we are finished for today yes indeed we are and look at that it has pretty much just cleared right off eh? yeah but we are definitely done for today we got about 152 kilometers more to go to our delivery place yeah so we don't even really have to get up too early tomorrow morning and uh, go down to the delivery place so we're just whatever we can actually sleep in tomorrow morning <laughs> yeah we actually can I just finished editing uh, yesterday's video so we are ready to go with that we're actually uploading it right now got my Wi-Fi system setting uh, sitting right up here yeah uploading the uploading the video for you guys yes indeed otherwise you guys don't have no video to watch right but uh, yeah anyways that's uh, pretty much all we got for today so I hope you like today's vlog and we'll see you right here tomorrow morning. This is Trucker Rudy signing out. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. I'm breaking the walls down.